guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is marissa i do relax hair videos tips and tricks and occasionally i vlog so if this is something that you're interested in hit that subscribe button down below don't forget to turn on your post notification while at it and let's get right into this video video i will be doing my relax hair care regimen products hair journey starter kit basically because i had a few of you dm me on instagram it'll be right here if you want to know if a few of you hit me up on instagram asked me what products and what i did when i first started my hair journey because of the last video that i posted i'll link it up here in the i card so if you're new you can see what i'm really talking about okay so the first thing that i went out and got was a spotted bonnet dryer i think i also have a video similar to this but if i do i have it linked down below so i got this hair tie for my hair because i was using the one with the metal that's not good because that snap your hair when you take it out because of the middle it gets like tangled so you would want hair ties that don't have that metal thing or that too much like grippy stuff to like tangle your hair went out and got a white tooth comb because the small comb that i was using it wasn't you know it, you was not supposed to use a small comb you always have to use a white tooth comb remember this want to be gentle and start from the ends all the way up to the room. the next thing i got was a silk bonnet i never used to use anything on my hair back then i never used to use any sleep with any head tie any scar sleep with no silk pillowcase none of that i didn't even know that's like a part of all of this like taking care of your hair so i never used to use anything now we're talking about actual products so the product that i use the shampoo that i use was shea moisture because at first when i was doing a lot of research that's all i was hearing about is shea moisture like religiously so i actually tried their shampoo and the shampoo is the best in the game that shampoo cleanse your hair as well your hair is feeling moisturized you know like when you shampoo your hair is feel dry and brittle not with shea moisture shampoo your hair this feel soft like if you just like you know did a conditioner or something on it so i would recommend you guys try this shea moisture shampoo okay so the next product is the conditioner for me i really didn't have like you know like a conditioner to be honest i didn't really have a conditioner i used to use any conditioner because you know conditioner for me don't make sense because <laughs> right after you have to use a deep conditioner so yeah just use any conditioner but mainly i used to use aussie conditioner like religiously so yeah because it was the cheapest conditioner and i you know i don't really have like like a favorite conditioner basically so the next product that i used was the shea moisture again <laughs> everything for me shea moisture when i first started all of the shea moisture brand i used to use like every single thing they come out with i used to use like basically so i'm like you know i just at least now my hair is actually like grown and i know to take care of it now so i don't really you know have to use it you know if that makes sense but when i was first starting i was using like everything and the most expensive stuff because i really wanted to actually see growth and then eventually i started seeing growth so yeah she must just strengthen and restore right here that's the deep conditioner that's the hair mask yeah i also use the shea moisture deep conditioner as well now we're going into the oils and i use a lot of oils like a lot of oils so i hope you have your pen and paper to get ready to write down so the first oil i use was coconut oil i only use to use coconut oil when i am going and pre-poo yeah so if i'm washing my hair tomorrow i soak my head drench it in coconut oil overnight like the baggy method the greenhouse method i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about if you don't i'll do a video of that in the future so 
I drench my head, my scalp, my hair, everything in the coconut oil overnight with a cup and my bonnet and a lot of things like tying it down so it don't get on my bed. That's why I use coconut oil for to sleep and wash it out the next day. I use casserole the same way because casserole is thick and it smells really bad. So yeah, I only do that when I'm pre-pouring. So the oil that I apply to my scalp every time like I moisturize the seal or so is the wild growth oil or the Jamaican black castor oil. I don't really use Jamaican black castor oil as often, like as much, but I only use the wild growth like religiously. That's all of the oils <laughs> that I use. There's a lot of oils. Because you know, when you're starting your journey, your hair is be dry and brittle, so you're trying to get everything in it all at once as possible so you can like restore basically. But now I don't really do all of that stuff now. I do it like every once in a while, like every once a month or every like, you know, when it needed. Like when I look at my hair and I say like, you know, my hair is dry, then I would go and do it. But like back then, I used to do it like every week, every wash day. My wash day used to start like nine and end till like night, like, <laughs> like whole day basically. I use Afghan Spray leave-in conditioner every now and then, but I mainly use Cream of Nature leave-in spray conditioner. So the hair lotion that I use is African Pride Moisture Lotion, Moisturizer Lotion. I'll keep it in certain pictures so you guys can see right here. For me, to be honest, any lotion will work good on your hair. If you, if you wanna go high-end or if you wanna go low-end, once you have lotion and your moisturizer still in your hair, to me, like it was working good when I was using the expensive stuff and it's still working good when I'm using the cheap stuff. So, yeah. So the heat protectant that I use is the Tresemme heat protectant I, I bought. I bought a, the smallest bottle and a year ago I bought that bottle and my, my heat protectant is still full. That's how much, that's how less I don't flat iron my hair. And the last product that I use and I know you guys probably saw a video of it the other day is a vitamin and it's biotin vitamin. You guys do your research on that to know what dosage or what is suitable for you. Biotin I use to help with my hair care regimen and help my hair to get strong and stop breaking and all of that good jazz. So this is all the products as you guys requested for me to do and I did it. So I hope this was helpful and comment down below what you guys use so i can try out some new product i don't want my hair to get you know familiar with just one product i want to like switch it out like some stuff every now and then so comment down below what's your favorite product and i'll probably give it a go okay so this is the end of the video if this was helpful make sure to subscribe down below turn on your post notification as well follow your girl on instagram and give me a big thumbs up thumbs up really help guys so make sure you thumbs up down below and until next time bye guys <laughs>